Hey, Noah, why can't you trust an atom? I don't know, John. Why can't you trust an atom? Because they make up everything. <laughs> Very true, atoms do make up everything. Atoms are also made up of three subatomic particles. Protons, which are positively charged, electrons, which are negatively charged, and neutrons, which are neutral. Hey, Noah, what's an atom look like? The traditional atom looks like this. That's not a very good representation of an atom. What if we pretend that baseball is the nucleus? Then the electrons would be around this stadium. Whoa! The electrons are really far from the nucleus. Electrons also have shells that surround the nucleus that are similar to the different rows of stands in the stadium. All forms of matter, both living and non-living, are made up of a limited number of building blocks called chemical elements. Different elements make up the three states of matter. For example, Fe, or iron, is a solid, H2O is a liquid, and O2 is a gas. Each element is designated by a chemical symbol. Chemical symbols are one or two letters in English. Carbon's chemical symbol is C. The atom's mass number is calculated by adding the number of neutrons and protons. An atomic mass unit, or AMU for short, is the standard unit for measuring the mass of atoms and their subatomic particles and the element's atomic number is determined by the number of protons. There are four elements that make up 96% of the body's mass. These are called the major elements. They are oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, and nitrogen. The lesser elements make up 3.6% of the body. They are calcium, phosphorus, potassium, sulfur, sodium, chlorine, magnesium, and iron. Not all elements have the same amount of protons and neutrons. These types of atoms are called isotopes. For example, oxygen usually has eight neutrons, but some isotopes have nine or ten neutrons. Some radioactive isotopes are unstable, and their nuclei decay in stable configuration. Certain elements only exist during the decay of nuclei, like astatine, which forms from the uranium turning into thorium. It only has a half-life of 8.1 hours. A half-life is the rate it takes one half of the atoms of a radioactive material to disintegrate. Just like atoms can have different numbers of protons and neutrons, they can have different numbers of electrons and protons and have different charges as well. Atoms with different numbers of electrons and protons are called ions and can form ionic bonds. Molecules form when two or more atoms share electrons, like O2 or oxygen. And compounds are molecules with two or more different elements. Thanks for watching. See you next time.